Minnesota Urologist Center, compassion driven to shape the future. Can you figure out why our dog has hematuria? Hematuria is increased blood in urine. Clinically, red colored urine is often called hematuria because additional diagnostics are needed to separate red pigment in urine from red cells. For this discussion, I will use hematuria and red urine synonymously. This is not a discussion on microscopic hematuria, but the diagnostic approach is identical. Red urine results from non-heme pigments or heme pigments. Red urine due to non-heme pigments are associated with ingestion of red foods or red medications. Non-heme pigments causing the urine to be red is often transient and clinically not important. Therefore, I will eliminate this category as a cause for disease. Visible hematuria is medically important and is the result of either intravascular hemolysis or hemorrhage. The urinalysis can help make this distinction. In both cases, occult blood is positive, but with intravascular hemolysis, there are few red blood cells in the urine sediment analysis. And with hemorrhage, there are many red blood cells. Causes for hemolysis include immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, red blood cell fragmentation, which can be seen with splenic hemangiogenic sarcoma, and heartworm caval syndrome, oxidation by zinc, onions, and garlic in dogs, and metomidine and propofol in cats, congenital membrane defects seen in Springer spaniels and Abyssinian cats, and parasites such as babesiosis and mycoplasma Hemophilus. Hemorrhage is either due to a generalized coagulopathy or localized bleeding. Factor and platelet deficiencies and abnormalities cause generalized bleeding. A break or tear in the lining of the urogenital tract causes local bleeding. Local bleeding is commonly caused by infection, trauma, or cancer. With this information, let's look at a case. Shane is a 10-year-old male neutered oh, no. shepherd no, it's, cross. It's Let me show you his oh, urination. Having seen the movie, let's ask a few questions. Hemolysis or hemorrhage? Only cells can cause a mounding up of blood. Therefore, it's hemorrhage. Our urinalysis confirms it. They're too numerous to count red blood cells. Let's ask another question. Is it a generalized coagulopathy or local bleeding? What you see in his urine are clots, which tell us the coagulation system is working properly. To prove it, here's his coagulation profile, which is normal. Therefore, our patient has local bleeding. Let's ask another question. If it's local bleeding, is it the kidneys, the bladder, or the genital tract? Usually when you have bleeding from the genital tract, it's independent of urination. That's not occurring in our dog. Very few bladder diseases are associated with this much blood. Therefore, it's likely to come from the kidney. Here's an ultrasound of the kidney. The kidney has an abnormal cavitating mass. Here is an ultrasound of the urinary bladder. The lumen has complex material consistent with a poorly defined blood clot. Our dog's data indicates kidney cancer. The abdomen was explored surgically. The kidney appeared abnormal and it was removed.
Histopathology revealed neoplastic cells with irregular, haphazardly arranged vascular channels consistent with the diagnosis of hemangiogenic sarcoma. The diagnostic evaluation of dogs with hematuria begins with determining if it is primary hemolysis or primarily hemorrhage. If it's hemorrhage, you need to determine if it's a generalized coagulopathy or local bleeding. The clue to making this diagnosis was watching our dog urinate. We determined it was hemorrhage, local bleeding, and coming from the kidney. This is Dr. Jody Lulidge. I'm walking my dog, Max. You can find me and more information about urinary tract disorders at urolistcenter.org.